Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new, I'm Mara Grace, and it's been a minute since you've seen me sitting down actually doing a video like this. Um, it's been a while since you've seen me in makeup, which is a little bit shiny, so let's pretend like that's not happening right now. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna do a little bit of a catch up for you guys uh, to explain what the heck has been going on, because the last however many videos it's been have been travel videos of my trip to Europe back in September which obviously we're staggered quite a bit because it's now, as I'm filming this, uh, January 16th and I got back in early October. So there has been quite a bit of staggering with those videos, which was all intentional. It wasn't like I didn't have any other content. I really wanted to spend the time to make those videos uh, and not leave stuff out. So I didn't want to, you know, make one long video for all of Paris or one long video for all of Nice and leave a bunch of stuff out. So, with that being said, um, by the time this video goes up, I'm actually going to be traveling again. Uh, surprisingly to me, uh, because I wasn't expecting this, uh, I'm going to India. Or by the time you see this, I will be in India, which is kind of mind-blowing. I The trip came as kind of a surprise. Um, it was very last minute. So that's cool. Like I found it in December. January is when I leave, January 23rd. So that's really cool. But I want to keep videos for you guys because I don't want to, you know, do all these travel videos and then not have anything for weeks. So while I'm gone, I'm doing some pre-filming now so I can put some videos up while I'm away because I won't, be, I won't have my laptop with me, I won't be able to edit. So as you can see by this title, I am going to be doing a full review on the Osprey backpack that I took with me to Europe. So yeah, um... That's pretty much it. Uh, without further ado, let's hop right into this video. Alrighty, so... Oh, this is the bag. Oh wait, I should do a thumbnail like this, right? <laughs> um, no, not right now. Afterwards. Anyway, this is the backpack that I took with me to Europe. It's quite large. I can't even fit all the way in the frame, which is kind of crazy. Um, and since you guys love my uh, Jester backpack review so much, I thought I would do one for this bag. And also, I just wanted to do a review on this bag in general anyway, because it's like a really good bag. So, this is the Osprey Farpoint 40. Um, I chose the 40 liter backpack over the 55. I did consider the 55. Ultimately, I chose the 40 because one of the flights we were on, you were only allowed to have one bag, and the 55 is technically two bags. It's like, um, it's the main bag is this one basically, the size, the same size as the, it's 40 liters, same size. And then it has a second 15 liter day pack attached to the front, whereas this one does not. This one just has these water bottle pockets. Um, yeah, so this bag is really, really great. I don't have enough good things to say about it. The only thing, my only complaint about it, actually, you know what, let me go to good, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> let me do good first and then I'll tell you the bag. So, the good parts of this bag, if you open it up, that's the interior. Um, don't mind the little bits of garbage that are apparently still in here that I did not know about before I filmed this. Um, so, on the inside, I'm gonna hold it upside down. On the inside, we just have this one really big compartment, which I use packing cubes. I was able to fit three packing cubes across the width of this, like three uh, narrow ones. And I probably could have fit a fourth one down here, down here, if not for my um, toiletry bag and stuff. And then on the inside you can see there's compression straps, which you put across. Although, it does get a little bit confusing at times because there were several instances where I tried to strap this um, compression strap to the outside compression strap. So, be mindful of that. <laughs> um, it's not really a huge deal, but just something to be aware of. Uh, so there's that, and then on the other side we have up here, which is just this huge pocket where you could put, I would say put flat things, I did not do that, I put, you know, socks and underwear, which, it's pretty illogical to put all the bunched up stuff here, because that's just gonna obviously push out into the other side, I don't know why I did that, I clearly wasn't thinking it through, but, yeah, so there's this big area, it's, it, it looks big, like, I feel like it's bigger in person than it looks on screen. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so there's that. Let's turn this around. And then we have another, whoops, we have another um, zipper, which you unzip and it's in here. So we got, you know, the main pocket back here. 
this pocket, which is kind of a cool pocket. Um, it's got a laptop slash tablet uh, sleeve, which I still have stuff in here as well, which I didn't know. Um, good to know though, because I will need that for India. Huh. Um, yeah, so in there is just a laptop sleeve. And then we have another zippered pocket right here, zippered mesh pocket, which feels actually reasonably protected. Like there's, the mesh isn't just mesh, it's like padded almost. So I think you could get away with putting like, if you want to do a laptop back here and a tablet in here, that would be that would work and I think it would be safe. Um, so we got that. And then of course, just more space in here. And this expands out quite a bit. Like if I were to, actually I'm not gonna zip it up because I'm gonna open it again, but you see what I mean? Like this expands out quite a lot. Oops. Um, so you, I was able to, you could fit another packing cube in here easily. I didn't, but you probably could. And the reason I didn't was because I had my electronics and you know, some of the camera stuff with me and I put that in there. So there's that. And then last on the front here, there's this one little pocket. I say little, it's not really that little, but Compared to the other pockets, it's small. Let me turn it, uh, I can't turn it inside out. But um, yeah, so that's that pocket. I say it's little, but it's really not. And here, hold on. This, which is like the size of my hand, and I don't have small hands, um, this fits in here quite easily, that front little pocket. That's actually where I kept it. And I would still be able to fit um, a pair of sunglasses and, you know, this lock with it and, you know, other stuff. So it's quite big, quite large. It's great. Um, yeah, it's also padded as well. It's supposed to be for sunglasses and stuff. So you could put sunglasses in there. I mean, go for it, try it. Um, and also, all of these zippers are lockable. So I'm just trying to find a zipper so I can show you what I mean. Here we go. I feel like this review is all over the place. But if you see, can you even see it? My light's not letting you see it. Okay, well these, these little holes, you can see the hole, right? My finger just blocked it, yes, no? Okay, um, these little holes, what they're for is you can uh, loop a lock through it. So there's obviously two zippers on each zipper line, like two actual zipper pieces, and you put them together and put the lock through them, and then your bag is locked, which is great. So I don't have them like that right now, obviously, because the bag's open, but it was very useful for sure, um, and I quite liked it. Uh, and then as well, there are two water bottle pockets on the outside here. Now, this is where I kind of actually, before I get there, one more rewind. Back here, you're like, where is it a backpack? I see this this strap, like, is it a duffel bag? Like what? No, it's a backpack because this panel opens up and there's a backpack. So there's the shoulder straps and there's a hip strap here. And the hip strap is actually super comfortable. Let me just tell you, this backpack was actually so comfortable. I was a little bit concerned that it wasn't going to be, that it was going to be um, heavy and funky, especially for that one day when we were in Portugal because we had all of our stuff with us Like we didn't leave it in a locker or something. So I was a little bit concerned that it was going to be heavy uncomfortable Whatever and it actually wasn't I was pleasantly surprised by how comfortable it was. This was more comfortable This backpack was more comfortable than the considerably smaller much lighter in weight Go next bag, which I'll do another video for a review on that bag because I also quite liked it in general, but this one was like way more comfortable. Probably because it's, you know, designed to hold more weight and stuff. So, you've heard all the good, you've heard my excitement about this bag, which I literally hyped this bag for I want to say three months before I actually bought it. I really wanted to be 100% sure that this was the bag that I wanted. Um, and I have like no regrets. Not true, I have one regret. <laughs> my one regret is, um, I bought, I got the small medium size. I could have gotten the medium large size, uh, which would have given me like two more liters of space. Usually you have to do it by your torso length, but I was right at that point where I was smack in the middle of the two, so I could have gotten either. I went with this one thinking that it was gonna be big enough and that, you know, for airlines and stuff, it was smarter to just have the smaller bag, which it probably is, but I don't think two liters would have made that much of a difference because I saw, like when I was on the plane, some people had like, way bigger bags than were probably allowed, but they still had them. 
so two liters would not have made a difference. So that, that was my one regret, <laughs> but that's okay. I still really love this bag and swear by it. Um, the cons. Um, nope, one more pro. <laughs> God, this video is all over the place. I'm sorry, I haven't done a sit-down video in forever. Um, okay. The other thing is these compression straps. Fantastic. There's one here, there's one that goes across the bottom. Um, I kind of showed them to you two seconds ago. They have this straight jacket compression, which is um, this lining, which you literally can't see on this camera because it's sunny and my lights, but I don't know, can you see it? It's this little bit of fabric here. Anyway, it does compression across the top, helps cinch the bag down. I love them. I love the compression straps. I love the double compression straps. Okay, now for cons, for real this time, because, wow, I'm all over the place. I'm so sorry. Um, it's, like I said, it's been a few months since I've done this, since I've done a sit down. Uh, okay, cons. My first con was the laptop sleeve. And I know I just said, like, it's protective, it's great, it's whatever, and it is. Like, the quality is fine. It's not about the quality. It's about the placement. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it being in here. Now, I didn't take my laptop with me. Um, I took an iPad with me. But even then, I felt that, like, if I put stuff in the main compartment and it bulked up and pressed down on this side, you know, it would... I'm not even doing a good impression, but it would bulk out on this side and bend the iPad. Does that make sense? Or bend, you know, if I had a laptop, bend the laptop. Like, I was concerned that it was putting too much pressure on it. I think it would have been smarter uh, if this bag had something like the Porter, the uh, Osprey Porter 46, which has um, a laptop sleeve in the back, like in the back back. So this is the furthest back pocket, you know, the main pocket in this backpack. The Porter has another one, one bag, which um, is for laptops and stuff, which I think probably would have been wiser to do, uh, if I'm being perfectly honest. but. It is what it is, it worked, um, but I also think for weight distribution purposes, it does make more sense to have the heavy flat object towards your back rather than towards the front of the bag. So that was con number one. And then con number two were these laptop, or not laptop, what am I saying? Uh, send help, were these um, water bottle sleeves. There we go. Um, these water bottle sleeves are kind of awkward because, like I said, when the bag bulges outwards, like even with the compression straps, the bag does bulge outwards a little bit. And when it does that, it kind of pushes up against the water bottle and sort of kind of really does make the water bottle fall out. So I think it would have been smarter had the water bottles been off to the side, like here and here, like on a normal bag. And I get that they were trying to make it very streamlined. But this just isn't fantastic placement for the water bottle. I mean, I didn't personally have an issue of it falling out because I didn't really keep my water bottle in this bag. I kept it more in the other bag. There's a plane going by, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I just, I wasn't a huge fan of having the water bottle pockets right on the outside because the couple times that I did put my water bottle in here, I was a little bit worried that it was gonna fall out. So that, those would be my cons. But other than that, uh, I would say this is a pretty great backpack. Like, two cons for a backpack, that's pretty good. I am a person who likes to nitpick on details and stuff, so. Um, that's pretty much it for the Osprey Farpoint 40. Um, there's also a women's version, which is, I'm gonna address this, which is the uh, Osprey Fairview. Comes in the 40, the 55, and I believe a 70 liter. Um, and the reason I got the far point over the Fairview was actually the straps. So the Fairview has uh, straps that kind of go inwards for women's comfort. And if you remember, I mentioned in my Jester backpack review that I bought the women's straps for that backpack. Um, I have discovered since having the Jester backpack that I really don't like the women's straps. Uh, I have pretty broad shoulders and so I think I, you seen, might have seen possibly my inverted triangle video which I make a point of mentioning that. Um, so personally I found that the women's shoulder straps uh, cut into my shoulders too much so I ended up getting the far point because it just fit better on me. Like I tried the Fairview as well um, but it was as I suspected the women's uh, shoulder cut was too narrow for me which it's fine it's not a big deal. 
Um, but that was why I got the far point over the fear of you in case anyone was wondering and in case anybody was debating between the two that was why and honestly I would just say try it on um, the far point was originally made to be a unisex bag it only in recent years has spawned off the Fairview so try them both on see what's more comfortable for you if you're debating between the two of them um, I wholeheartedly recommend the far point or the Fairview depending what fits you better because I seriously think that they're great and the material is great and you know I took this and it's not even dirty like this is the other thing like, I took it on a bunch of planes I took it on like buses we were out in the open we were on a tuk-tuk like all these things and this bag still looks practically brand new um, like a little bit of coffee spilled on it still looks brand new like I just am thoroughly impressed with it overall um, also I just really love the color <laughs> which Osprey come back with this color please uh, the Caribbean blue they no longer make it um, which is sad now it's only uh, Jasper red and I forget the name they have for black. Maybe it's just black. I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much it for the Osprey Far Point 40 review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Uh, please note there is actually this. I didn't mention this, and I probably should have earlier. This strap does come with the bag. Um, it attaches onto these, so you can carry it like a duffel bag if you so choose. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was all over the place. I'm sorry, I tried. Um, hopefully my go next video is gonna be better. I'm filming it right after this, so hopefully this is like my test run of getting back into the swing of things. Okay, so that's basically it for this video. Uh, I was totally all over the place and I'm sorry, um, but like I said, it's the first time I'm getting back into this after not having filmed pre-filmed a video since literally the end of August and it's January, so it's been a while. Um, thank you for bearing with me. And hopefully I'll be better in time for the go next bag review. I'm filming that right after this one. Hopefully this was like, you know, get all the jitters out of my system. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, that's, that's it. <laughs> See, that's pretty much it. That's it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you get notified every time I post a video, which is every Monday. Uh, and stay tuned for more travel videos. Until next time, bye guys. <laughs>